The following presentation is rated Web G for general audiences. And now, a BOA.TV original series. Welcome to the family. Previously on Welcome to the Family. We're going on a cruise! <laughs> It's really interesting that when you explore the ship, you kind of see different areas. This was absolutely so much fun and such a great experience. Anyone can entertain you, but only we entertain you. With a mixture of fun, learning, and craziness, my team and I travel the world motivating and connecting with people. Are you ready? Welcome to the family. So we're in Bermuda at the Bonefish Bar and Grill. So what do we got here, Valerie? The frozen mudslide. We are motivational speakers and we've done tours around different countries and I sent some information from one of our tours in Belize. No, we're only here today and tomorrow. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's why I said, you know, it's a, it's a good way to meet face to face. Thank you so much. His schedule was full, but she's gonna see if she can, you know, get us in there right away. So I gotta call her back in 10 minutes because there's no way for her to call me back. The ministry that um, approved The it, commissioner right? approved it. So they sent me straight to the principal. The principal had already known about it. And I told her we have microphones and things like that will connect to your sound system. She said, okay, perfect. Um, and they're very excited. Everywhere it looks gorgeous. One of the things that I love to always do is to learn about the history of the place when we go to visit. And so one of the best places to learn about the history of any location is to go to the National Museum. Alex is on the phone with the curator of the museum. We're really fortunate because of what we do, we get to do a lot of behind the scenes things. The museum was really, really neat because it wasn't just one building like so many museums, it was multiple buildings across I think like 10 acres. It showed the history of Bermuda from when it first started in the 1600s. And then of course, you can't have a museum of Bermuda without talking about some of the famous shipwrecks, it being part of the Bermuda Triangle and all of that. You know what I think this is? This is the remnants from the victims of the Bermuda Triangle ships. Look at the size of this one. This thing is huge. <laughs> and did you know that a cannon is actually two tons? So I'm just having a ton of fun. <laughs> They had over 30,000 different artifacts. I don't think we really got to see every single one, but we got to see a lot of them, including this really neat area that showed how the slaves actually lived. By 1901, South African camps were at a bursting point. Britain had to turn to her colonies to house surplus prisoners of war. So apparently Bermuda first started out as a settlement for British POWs. Overall, I really thought it was a great experience because we got to really walk part of Bermuda and see the different history, including like the fort area that then turned into their prison and they actually shipped some of their prisoners off to Bermuda to help build the whole settlement. A cool experience that you can have when you go to Bermuda is swim with dolphins. And this was the most beautiful dolphin experience because you were surrounded by the fort and you could hear them communicating to each other. Such fabulous creatures. While we were exploring the fort, we actually bumped into some military there and we wanted to figure out what was going on. So it's actually called the Military Tattoo. And militaries from overseas all around the world come to Bermuda and they put on a really cool show for the public with military and musical precision. One of the coolest things was that they had like a hidden museum. When we made a little quick turn, I see this door and it was like bling. Huge room with a bunch of artifacts and a bunch of history. I love doing these things. That's one of my favorite things is about traveling, is really getting involved in knowing the history of the country. We're about to head to Bermuda Beach. You can see um, where there's rocks through the water because of the turquoise color. It is where the pinkest of our sand is. Our sand is formed by shells. So every beach has slightly different sand. One of the most beautiful beaches I've ever seen. Somebody carved hearts. People have it? Look. It's definitely a destination that we all want to go back. 
about to start. So I'm Tina Duke, I'm the principal at Dalwood Middle. So introduce me so I get I'm Bert. Name. This is Bert. Hi Bert. I'm Alexa. Hi Alexa. I'm Val. Hi Val. And I'm LJ. And LJ. When we got to Bermuda, I don't think anybody on the team was really expecting what we saw. It's such a beautiful country and we learned so much about it. There was just so much history and uniqueness to this country that just made it so amazing. Now, every house has its own holding tank. So prior to building the house, we dig a very large hole into the ground, build up the holding tank, process seem to make water tight. That also serves as a great foundation for the house. The roofs are built as a water catchment. Oh. If, you look, if you look at the roof, you notice that there's a ledge built up around the edges. And that ledge serves as a gutter system catching the water as it's running off the house. Wow. And the limelight whitewash serves as a purifier for the water. And the water may be used for everything from drinking to flushing. That's, That's brilliant. Yes. That is really smart. Uh, the United Nations had been to Bermuda in recent years looking at our water catchment system with the idea of introducing it to other parts of the world. There's the Somerset Bridge, the world's smallest drawbridge. Oh, it's a drawbridge. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Opens up some 18 inches across, wide enough for the mass of the sailboat to go through. I really love what it is that we do for the children. One of the things that I really enjoy is really going into these schools and seeing the way that these schools are ran. They had motivational quotes. They had these quotes as you would walk through the school ground, you would see quotes, you would see the interaction with the children. They had no idea who we were and they were like, hey, how you doing? They were really connecting with one another. And it was awesome because a lot of people think that sometimes you have these motivational quotes laying out in different places and these affirmations and they think it's not important. However, you'd be surprised how it really attaches to your subconscious mind and how much information a person takes in. When we got to Bermuda, one of the things that they asked us is, do we mind being touched? Do you touch? Yes. Okay. <laughs> We do it for the hugs. And they're like, great, because strangers always come into our country and they're a little bit uncomfortable. We're a hugging kind of culture. Wow, fantastic, because we are too. One of the important factors in getting the word out there for what we do is getting in touch with local media correspondents. We had the opportunity to get interviewed by one of the reporters at the Royal Gazette in Bermuda. And especially with somebody that's not from their own hometown, they tend to listen a little bit more. Yeah. And then she actually went to the event to get a feel for herself. And thank you from the bottom of my heart for allowing us to come here. Who here loves technology? <laughs> okay. What we start doing as of today will become a reality for the future. Does that make sense, yes or not? Yeah. You guys think what? You guys have a gorgeous country, you need to be proud of that country, and you need to realize that you are the future of the country. Not just this country, of the world. As we grow, we learn a lot more than adults. Because adults are too serious at times. Make sense, yes or not? Yeah! yeah. I was like, yes, no, she's in one of my classes, so I can't wait to see the change in her because I know, I know that it's gonna, it's gonna affect her in a positive way. Did you learn some good information? Yeah! Did you have fun? And then when we're done with the presentation, they were so engaged and they wanted to connect with us and the way they talked to us was so proper. Ah, thank you for coming back for me. Yep. Have a good day, baby. The kids seem to really have enjoyed it. Good things are happening. It was really worth changing the normal schedule around to see most of them leaving with smiling faces and dancing and just really good vibes. And I think they've been given a really positive message. I think a lot more are going to start thinking about their future. It was a great motivational opportunity for the students. They were well into it. They listened and learned and paid attention to everything that was being said. So it was excellent and as again as they were, they were well done. They're doing a great job. I've been all over the world and I've seen many of schools and it felt like I was in a prep school. Thank you guys thank so much. You. You're so true. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. You're awesome. Not only a great school with great teachers and amazing students, but it's also a great country. And if you haven't gone there, I recommend that you go. Let's review the episode. Number one, expand your horizons. One way of doing that is connecting with the locals. A lot of people travel and they do a lot of little tourist things instead of just embracing the culture, getting involved with the locals. 
And the second thing we learned from this episode is getting involved with the educators, being able to connect with those that are gonna help you talk to the children so we can create a better world. In fact, if you happen to be an educator or you happen to be someone that has contacts anywhere in the world that will allow us to go in there and talk to your children, please don't hesitate. Make sure to contact us at mmtor.org. I hope you enjoyed this episode as much as we enjoyed making it for you. You must keep making it happen. I'll see you next week. Hi, I'm Alexa from Welcome to the Family. And don't forget to comment, like, share. Oh yeah, and subscribe. <laughs>